JoJo Siwa is defending Abby Lee Miller and it's getting her in some trouble. We can't be surprised because JoJo has been very open about the fact that she still keeps in close contact with Abby Lee. She's defended her before, like on the Dance Moms reunion, but she's once again defending her because of this new Dance Moms show that has been released, feeling like nobody can do it like Abby. And people certainly have some things to say about what JoJo is feeling about this new show. And it's definitely the same feeling that they've gotten from all the other things that she's been saying about Dance Moms over the years. Jojo Siwa has been doing a lot of press recently, not for her new music, but a new movie that she's starring in. The horror film titled All My Friends Are Dead has Jojo on a press tour, and people have been asking her tons of questions about the new Dance Moms show that was released on Disney Plus and Hulu while she's been doing press. It's called Dance Moms A New Era, and this time the show follows Studio Blue coach Gloria Hampton, who is supposed to be the Abby Lee on this version of Dance Moms. Now, given that over the years, girls from the original show have come out to talk about their experience filming the show as one that was quite traumatic, the producers of this show couldn't replicate it exactly, and certainly needed to make sure that the girls were not going to be treated the way the original girls had been. JoJo has been one of the only girls to really defend Abby Lee over the years and got a lot of backlash when she defended Abby at the Dance Moms reunion not too long ago, as many felt like this was invalidating the other girl's experience on the show. She had tried to say that those who didn't show up to the reunion came off as ungrateful for the show and how they got started, which people online felt wasn't right to say as it's okay if they don't want to revisit this part of their life, given that some have talked about it negatively and they understand why they wouldn't want to talk about about dance moms or remember it or look back and be a part of a reunion. And when talking about Abby's behavior on the show, Jojo in the past has said that after working in Hollywood, she's realized how people like Abby are normal and says that it's scary, but that it's normal. But essentially that all taught her how to survive in the industry. And a lot of people were hearing this thinking, you know, just because you think that it is normal doesn't make it okay still. And that the other girls still have a right to feel how they feel about the show and their experience with Abby, but it seemed Jojo was once again sticking by Abby, feeling like nobody could do it like her on Dance Moms, which you would think would be a good thing, but in Jojo's eyes, it seemed as though she felt this new version of Dance Moms was almost stepping on Abby's version and not in the best way. I don't, I don't like biting the hand that fed you, mm -hmm. and I think Abby's hand got bit a little bit mm -hmm. with this new season, mm -hmm. and I think Dance Moms will never be Dance Moms without well, Abby. A lot of fans were saying, like reacting to the new Abby, being like, this yeah. isn't, this isn't Abby. And I think that there's a lot of great dance teachers, and Glow specifically, who is the teacher on this new season, is an incredible dance teacher, but she's not. Abby. Mm -hmm. And so seeing, you know, seeing the pyramid and seeing six weeks till nationals, that's not, that's not really glow. That's Abby in his glow trying to be Abby. Nobody can do it like Abby. And honestly, like I said, for the best, I think that's probably the only reason why they were able to do another Dance Moms show because they probably can't have someone yell and fat shame kids on television anymore. But also in bringing up the pyramid, it seems that the show still wanted to keep certain elements of the original. And that was something that just, you know, crossed over. It sounds like Jojo doesn't love that they did that because she feels like she's copying Abby. Abby, but tons of the original girls and the original moms have talked about the fact that the pyramid was never for real. That was something that the producers wanted Abby to do. That wasn't something that she was doing before the show. So technically they're not really copying Abby. It wasn't something that Abby invented, but Jojo didn't seem to like that they were taking those elements from the original show and wanted this show to get a little bit more original, calling them out. For me, I feel a little protective of Abby, of Gianna being like, hey, that was their thing. You know what I mean? Do your own, do mm -hmm. your own thing. But I, I do think the kids on it are incredibly talented and I am very excited to see them be able to launch into superstardom, take the platform and run with it. Um, and I do I do truly wish the show and wish the cast and Glow and, and Kaylee and all the dancers and all the moms all the best of luck. Um, but just, you know, stay original. Don't try to, don't try to be Abby because <laughs> everyone's replaceable but her. <laughs> that girl! Yeah. In another interview JoJo did recently, she did hint to knowing some sort of behind the scenes tea in regards to this new Dance Moms and was curious to how it was all going to come together, whether it was going to look like this TV production or if it was going to look natural like the original Dance Moms. Can't wait to watch. 
because I I know the I know the behind the scenes of what like really happened, and so I'm excited to see how it really plays out on TV, knowing what really is going on. You know what I mean? If it's like if it's really real, or are they like trying to make a TV show? Because that's what made Dance Mom so special. It was really real. We weren't trying to make a TV show. Which the way that JoJo is talking about this is all very interesting because she seems down to watch this new show. She seems willing to support all the girls, but then it feels like she also doesn't like it at the same time. Now, with all the talk of JoJo defending Abby and not really having any regard for how the other Dance Mom girls view their own experience on the show, some people have talked about the fact that they're worried about her wanting to be a mom herself and how that's going to be because she says she wants kids ASAP. JoJo has said it in nearly every interview that she wants triplets kind of she wants three surrogates to get pregnant all at the same time and she is going to name her babies freddie eddie and teddy she has talked about this so much and recently even confirmed a timeline talking about this is going to happen within the next three years and she talked about this when she was asked if her future partner doesn't love her baby names, what would she do? You and your wife are ready to have children, but she confesses that she hates the baby names you've picked out for them. Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy, how would you respond? I would break up with her. <laughs> Divorce. And that is something that I talk about very early on with partners. I'm like, just so you know, there are three children. Their names are Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy. I will have as many more as you want, however many more, but Fett is coming and they will be here in three years, whether you like it or not. She admitted to Zach saying recently that she would probably have had a kid by now if she was straight. You Are you really like ready to have kids? Oh yeah. Yeah? Immediately. It is expensive um, for us queers. Very expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's very complicated, of course, but I, I always joke with my family. I'm like, look, y'all are so lucky I'm not straight because it wouldn't be an oopsie baby. Like, <laughs> I've got best friends. <laughs> We like I would have already had a kid probably and in the same interview says that she's always wanted kids and she wants to do fun stuff with them. She doesn't want to go out to the club. She wants to go to Disney with kids instead. And just as I was thinking, oh, my God, there's so much more to having kids than them just being cute and dressing up and playing house. She does mention that she knows there's more to having kids, but that, you know, there's a lot of people around her to help. I've wanted babies seriously since I was like 14. Like I've always loved kids. I always loved hanging out, like taking care of. I, my best friend just sent me this photo of me and her three kids. And I'm just like, she's like trying to hang out with me and she's 30. Like we're having a kiki, like just having fun. And I'm on the floor, like babysitting all three of her kids, like rolling around, having a good time. Um, but like seriously, the maternal instinct has been since I was maybe 19. Um, but I, I knew I'm, I know I'm very young. I know that people say like, you need to live life. You need to go explore the world. And my thing is, is like, I got, I got a couple more years, right? Like I think two more years, maybe three more years. Um, but I don't want to go to Cabo and get wasted with my friends. I want to go to Disney world with my babies. Like I want to take my little peanuts. I don't want to go to Tokyo and explore the nightclubs. I want to go to Tokyo and like show my kids around like and get them cutie little outfits like that's the desires that i have and obviously there's a lot more to having kids but i'm not alone and there's there's a village around me and it's obviously a hard life but it is a life that i do want to bring kids into so jojo's new girlfriend must be on board with these babies on the way because this week she just hard launched a new relationship she shared a video onto her instagram story this week of her girlfriend announcing that she had a girlfriend so i have a Later, JoJo shared several photos of them online, and though she said in the past that her future relationships were going to be more private, it seems she's changed her mind. But this new girlfriend is actually not the girl that I thought that she was dating. I thought that she had a girlfriend like this whole time and she was being private because back in May, you might remember she was spotted kissing a girl at the airport and this girl ended up being Madison from the recent season of So You Think You Can Dance, which if you don't remember, JoJo was actually a judge this season of the show. So people were a little weirded out that JoJo ended up with one of the contestants. They were the same age though and it had been said that the two of them got together after the show, but people certainly had their opinions. Madison was pictured celebrating with JoJo at Disneyland for her 21st birthday along with her friends and family. 
but it seems they broke things off and now Jojo is with a different dancer from the same season of So You Think He Can Dance, 18-year-old Dakayla Wilson. Dakayla was on the same season as Madison, both making the top five, and it seems, you know, now she's with Jojo. And they've been sharing so much of each other this week, going to Disney, holding hands. So I guess Jojo isn't trying to be private this time around. I don't know. And I also guess that Dakayla likes the names Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy since Jojo said that she would break up with someone who didn't like those names. But that is what has been going on in Jojo's world as of recent, her sticking up for Abby once again, and some other things that have been said by her that have people talking. I certainly want to know what you guys think about all of these things related to Jojo. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>